All right, uh, this will be part two of the ZVT on Cloud Kingdom. We are now entering the mid game. Both of us have established three bases. Um, this guy is a little bit weak because he's been putting on a couple of failed pressures at this third. But um, due to my macro being bad, I have nine larva. Um, and that's not even counting the four that you can see popping here. <laughs> and and um, you know, trying to hit your injects, whatever, and I'm clearly missing some. Um, we're both getting to around where we want to be in terms of units, uh, third bases, uh, and everything like that. So, fr I guess now I'm going to focus more on the actual game instead of concepts. But you can see that we both got to exactly where we wanted to be. So let's go. Um, at this moment, I don't actually know he's going mech. I see these Hellions that keep moving out, but to be honest, I saw, I think, two here in his second push, then four here, and then I see four more. This doesn't necessarily to me mean mech. Um, it's when you see enormous numbers like 12 and or blue flame, something like that. That'll indicate, that'll indicate definite, definite mech. Um, the tanks don't actually indicate mech either, though, um, because remember he saved these three tanks from over here. So it, it's not like he rebuilt them. Um, the Thor will indicate mech, a hundred percent. These upgrades actually don't, because a lot of people will get this plus one um, when they're going bio. The armor will indicate mech as well. So finally I get this overseer in and I can finally scout mech. I finally understand that that's what he's going. You can see me getting burrow. And I think what's going to happen is I'm going to cancel this melee, get this attack, and get tunneling claws. Um, and then I'm going to drone a lot because I understand that at this moment he cannot actually do too much in terms of pressure to me. I'm also going to take this fifth for the same reason. I know he can't do too much damage to me. So I see this double scan here. I was r I really wanted to go to Hive here, but um, because he scanned on top of it, I didn't want to go to Hive right in front of him. Um, and you can see my money starting to pile up. And once the scan ends, I'm going to Hive. You can also see I built this macro hatch because this queen is also getting high in energy. I'm getting Neuro for Thors. They actually work really well um, for Thors. And Fungal really is not very good against mech. And even um, and Infested Terrans work really good on top of tanks, but Hellions kind of roast them. So um, to keep my um, Infestors relevant, I want to get Neuro, especially because Infestors are still very important when you eventually go to Broodlords, which is what this hive is for. You can see I start my Spire. So here we go, droning up all, all my bases. I'm going to try and take these gases. I'm going to drone up this one just enough to take these gases, and that's all. Um, because my plan is to go Broodlord. I want to go Roach to stall, and then Broodlord eventually. Whereas this guy, now he's getting his second armory. This is definitively late. This is bad. Um, he should have gotten this earlier. This barracks should probably be out scouting somewhere. He doesn't really need it. Um, other than that, I think he's playing okay. I hate this push out. I hate this push out before max. This um, causes him... This can be extremely problematic. If I was max and I caught it in transition, like an uh, angle right here, this direction, down this way, um, before siege, this entire push gets crushed except for maybe four Thors and then the game ends. Um, because he's not going to be able to remax and I'm going to be able to hit this defensive space. So I really don't like this push. But because I didn't see it coming, um, I actually just abandon. I try to save the drones, and um, I counter. <clears throat> and I counter because I know this mech army is really immobile. And I know that this base is not like a vital base. If, th if he killed this base, I would have been like probably hurt more. I had more drones here, but this base literally had 8 drones. So um, here we go. I try to split up my army as best I can. I know this mech army is really immobile, and it only works really well in this ball if I split up everything then um, it makes it a lot harder for him so here we go um, every time you get command center lift put something underneath it every time you get command center lift put something underneath it put something underneath it he has missed turrets here so this doesn't last but still same concept and um, when you get in against the mech army go for the go for the armories his upgrades are going to be very scary you don't want him to hit 3-3 three, 3-3 three. Three, three mech in brood war is considered the unstoppable unkillable army that's exactly what you do not want him to hit in SC2. Um, after that, you go for um, SCVs, you can go for add-ons, you go for important buildings. I should have gone for... did I kill the reactor underneath there? 
No, you see, I, I, I can't see it because of this factory, um, but I should have gone for that reactor because of my plan is to go Broodlord eventually. Um, but yeah, you want to kill add-ons, you want to kill SCVs. Um, I mean, depots are okay, but you also have to remember, you kill a big portion of his army, so, his, so depots are not going to be a big problem for him. Um, the big thing is that he's really not mining here because of these. Um, and he lost a ton of SCVs. Yeah, you can see I'm still trying to pick off SCVs where I can. Um, very, very cool. Uh, rebuilding roaches, but not so many that I can't build um, when this Greater Spire finishes. Um, I also realize at this very moment that when you do this kind of damage, right? A lot of people, um, unexperienced people, I, I even ha I had this problem for a really long time. When you do this kind of damage to somebody, your goal is not, oh my god, I have such a huge lead, I better build 20 drones. Your goal is, oh my god, I have such a huge lead in my drone count right now that I need units because I need to hold this. You know when um, all these professional casters say when you, get, when you get ahead, get more ahead? Sometimes, when you do enough damage to completely cripple them, you need units because you need to live. It is not about getting more ahead and taking more bases. I'm taking these bases because I'm flowing money. <laughs> I'm not taking it because I think that you know I want to get a bigger economic advantage. My economic advantage is so enormous right now that it doesn't even matter. So um, that was just a couple concepts about mech. Don't push out before 200. You're really immobile, so as a Zerg, you can counterattack it. Especially if you don't have Broodlords, you're never going to kill this army unless you hit it unseaged. Um, so you want to counterattack, um, kill SCVs, kill armories, kill add-ons, and um, try to get things burrowed underneath uh, floating command centers so that he takes even longer to mine again. Then remember to remax. Try to get your Broodlords slowly. You're not rushing to Broodlords when you get a lead like this. You're just trying to get them slowly and um, take the win. So mech is becoming very popular in ZBT, so this will hopefully help you out. Also remember, um, just basic Zerg is the drone count and the injects. Don't be afraid to build macro hatches. Like I built so many macro hatches for my queens. Don't be afraid, because if you hit injects, that's really good. And you'll have a lot more units than you think you should have. So um, that'll be that, and I hope you enjoyed and learned something.